Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, what I have for you here today is something a little bit different. It is Alchemy and Mysticism by Alexander Rube. Um, now this is published by Tashin as part of their Bibliotheca Universalis collection. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely book. Um, very, you know, Tashin always makes uh, very high quality products and this is no exception uh, to just give you a tour of the uh, cover of the book. Um, this is a dust jacket. I can take this off here. Cover is gel text, um, and it's just plain white. So you know, keep this dust jacket on, uh, lest that uh, lest you muck it up. Um, cover is very plain. Uh, Smithstone as well, so that's always nice to see. And cover image here. And a shot of the spine. And on the back. Very nice. So this book um, functions primarily as an art book. Um, if you were looking to read any, like learn about alchemy and mysticism, this is not a good place to start. It's a picture by William Blake. Uh, contents page, so it's divided up into themes, the macrocosm, uh, opus magnum, Magnum opus, microcosm, rotation. It's the inner world, or sorry, the outer world, the uh, the practice of alchemy itself, inner world, and introduction here. Uh, as you can see, it's these pages are um, I don't know semi gloss or or satin, um, but they are magnets for fingerprints. As you can see here, it's just be very easy to muck it up. So you keep that in mind. Don't uh, handle the pages too much, I suppose. Um, but we do have this nice little inter uh, introductory quote from Democritus. It will be apparent that it is difficult to discern which properties each thing possesses in reality. And we start off with an uh, introduction on Hermeticism. Here. Uh, this book is just such an incredible, truly incredible uh, visual resource. Every page just has, uh, you know, very highly detailed images, very mystifying and uh, fascinating. Though I'm not well versed in alchemy, I don't. I've I've only read a couple, uh, maybe a handful of books on it, and not anything in of like an academic in nature. Um, but I, I do I do like I'm, I'm intrigued by the concept of it. You know, alchemy is not just about uh, turning base metals into gold. It's you know teaching you how to. Uh, how to transform yourself uh, into something better and something, uh, you know, perfection, you know, making yourself more divine, more, more godly. And I will say, though, um, with this being an art book, I, I am a little disappointed in, in the size of it. Um, it is quite small um, in terms of dimensions, not in terms of content. The content it is just packed. Um, I think there's over 500 pages of <laughs> just in, in, you know, intensely decorative uh, images. And I, so the size, we're limited by size. And so you can you kind of lose these little details in the bottom here. Not that it matters much because I can't read Latin, <laughs> but um, I don't know. Atashin does do a good job. I don't want to say that they're not, that 
that every all the details are lost. I just wish that um, you know the scale uh, could be bigger so that I could just you know fully uh, fully immerse myself in the image. Um, because you know al alchemy, you know, in the 15th, 16th, 17th century, they were it was banned, so they had to um, you know they had to. Uh, speak in code and riddles and use symbols and um, to get their message across and you know it's just it's just almost encyclopedic in nature the amount of information that's packed into a single image it's, uh, it's very very impressive and you know there's a lot of uh, cosmological maps in here which I like as well I always like looking at uh, that type of thing. As you can see, that was just page after page of just um, cryptic images, and of course there there is some text to accompany the image. But I mean, trying to understand it without, um, <laughs> you know, without uh, with a, without a generalized or you know even basic understanding of alchemy would be uh, would be futile, really. But there's just like, I can just flip through here. I could spend hours and hours, and I have <laughs> spent hours uh, just flipping through this book, just looking at all of these images and, uh, you know, trying to ascertain meaning and, and the like. Sorry, I'm trying to show you this close up without the glare. You know, and these there's so many images here. What especially what I like about it is there's just they just inspire, um, you know, many different thoughts and and ideas and lead you, lead you down a path uh, towards new beliefs. So here we have an image of the black sun, the inner sun. But, you know, the artists aren't, um, they're not trying to indoctrinate you. Just merely show you a new way to think. You know. You know, free your mind instead of being enslaved by the ego type of thing. German. And I, I think that that's what, uh, real art um, aims to do, you know, introduce you to new ideas and concepts and make you question, uh, question yourself. There's many different artists in here as well, you know, we have lots of William Blake in here. I'm not sure if he was, um, I'm not sure if he was an, like an alchemist or if he was in, interested in alchemy per se. But he's featured heavily in this book as well as uh, Robert Flood, Da Vinci, Jakob Bong, Milton and Yeats are in here as well. Oh, the cosmic egg, philosophical egg, the world egg, the cosmic egg, uh, one and the same, really. You know, I, it's my personal belief uh, that the cosmic egg and the, the eye, like the, the human eye, the eyeball, are one and the same. You know, we have the cosmic, the cosmic egg symbolizes uh, new beginnings with, you know, some sort of like universe or omnipotent, omnipotent universal being hatching from the egg. 
Um, and, you know, in a sense, and this, this is why I think this, because in a sense we have, uh, you know, we come into being when we open our eyes, when we're born, and our own universe is dictated and created by what we view with our eyes, you know, bringing the macrocosm into the microcosm. Now as above, so below, as within, so without. I'm not uh, an alchemist by any means, so I could just be talk talking about a bunch of rubbish, but, you know, uh, from my understanding, alchemy is the process of enhancing your inner world uh, expressed via external symbols, so I could just, I'm just yammering on, I'll just, <laughs> I'll stop. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a fascinating book. You could just spend so much time just going through, flipping through all the images and still see something new each and every time. It's incredible. I'm very happy and pleased with this book. If you are um, if you're a fan of art, um, alchemy, mysticism, sort of uh, esoteric topics in general, um, you, will, you will definitely appreciate this book. Medieval art, if you're a fan of medieval art, enjoy it. You'll really like this book. Um, I could just, I could go on and on, but uh, we're not here for that. This is just a book review. <laughs> um, and then here we have the index in the back. Um, not not the best index, but I mean, um, enough to get you by, really. So I guess that's all you would need. It's not an um, academic book by any means. So um, it's basically what to uh, what you can expect for this type of thing. But. Yeah, that is this book in a nutshell, really. Um, definitely recommend uh, picking up a copy, um, especially if you're an art nerd like I am. <laughs> um, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for joining me so much and watching right to the end. I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.